I'll create a small sequence and I'll call it Cal and it has dates starting from the 1st of January 2020 to 31st of December 2020. I'll convert this into a data frame and let's have a look at that. So it has one field which has the, all the dates and it's called Cal. So I would change that name to date. So if I see now, it has changed to date. So with that, we'll go further. So to get the month out of that, I'll create another column in that and I'll call it as Cal month full. And I'll be using the month option from the Lubridate package and using the Cal date, which we created, I want to have the label as true and every variation equals false. So let's see what it does for us. So it has given us a full month name there. Now there's another way of getting month. So I'll use the abbreviation equals true. And let's see what that gives us. So we have the abbreviated month in that Jan, Feb, March and so on. Now what if you only wanted the month as number one, two, three, etc. So we have that as well. So this is how you convert your dates into different formats for month. And how about plotting it? So using the ggplot, let me plot it. And you can see that the plot has counted all the days in January, February, March, etc. And similarly, I can plot the abbreviated month, and that gives us Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, etc. Now we can also do the same thing with month. So I'll simply call this as month and fill it by month and you would see what happens. You have the, the, the months plotted, but you can see that the numbers are continuous. So ggplot is treating the month as a continuous variable. That's why it has given us 2.55, 7.5. So to do that, we, we can we can convert that into a factor and that'll, that, that'll do the job for us. So I would convert this into a factor by calling x equals factor of the month and then the fill also the factor of the month. So with that, we should be able to get a proper chart. So we can see that month one, month two, month three had been plotted well. 